Hey Pisces, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, Pisces, so I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading and see what we have for you today. We're going to start with the situation or the deck. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. I have keeping notes. Some of you guys are writing things, keeping journals of your feelings. Diary, someone is actually keeping notes of what someone is doing. Okay, it could be a little petty. Okay, but someone may be doing that too. Here is, you guys are working. Some of you guys are struggling a little bit, but some of you guys are actually just working. Your money is good, you're just working. Here it talks about triggers. So people gotta be very careful about what they say around you, what they do. Um, this could be triggers with depression. It could be triggers with anger, you know, triggers with sadness. So maybe, you know, someone did something to you and someone brings up that person's name. They just want to be very careful. Um, I do sense vulnerability here with you, Pisces. And it's not just for one thing. I believe that this has something to do with a lot of things. Okay. Here with vacation, I do feel like you guys have been vacationing or you want to vacation. You will be. Um, something fun. And if you haven't, I feel like you should. Okay, this is all this is coming out. It says here, pop up something that's going to happen out of the blue. And I also have happiness. Those are the cards that turned over. So something unexpected happening. It says spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. Happiness, smiling, being overjoyed. So I love the fact that this is in here. Even though you've been through some stuff here with that trigger, I didn't necessarily like that because I do feel like that has something to do with trauma. Some things that maybe you guys have experienced from people throughout your life, okay? Um, but yeah, but this is what I'm saying. So we're going to see how all of this plays a role in your reading. Um, I see happiness. I see someone surprising you and I see vacation. So we're going to see what this is all about. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, Pisces. Yeah, I hate to see that, that trigger because man, sometimes... You know, you could be upset with people or it could be just something that's dealing with trauma that can really trigger emotions inside of you. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is for Pisces. Oh, here I have the six of cups. So reminiscing memories, father, mother, grandparents, boyfriends, husbands, children. I mean, it's this where you guys are kind of at right now. And some of you guys are just needing balance in general when it comes down to this, this energy, these memories, okay? Um, it also talks about maybe you were, maybe something that you wanted, you know, someone from the past may want to, that's in your energy, maybe something hasn't been happening. Maybe you guys are feeling stuck or some feelings are still lingering from someone. I do see that someone is fine on you though. I do see that. You guys are researching a lot, maybe that vacation or some type of, you know, escape that you guys want to have. You guys could be researching that also. Wow. Here with the Ace of Wands, I'm seeing that there is going to be something very exciting that's going to come in your life here. Brand new beginning here. Also talks about work energy, finance, career. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is very masculine energy here. It doesn't matter masculine or, or feminine, but I feel that this is more so someone that's going to come in and take charge. Someone wants to... Um, talk to you okay it could be a soulmate here with the six of cups though someone new yeah that's what i'm saying let's go ahead let's get some more for you pisces wow here with the four of wands so i do feel like pisces you guys are going to be going into a commitment type of connection unexpectedly remember we saw here something that you guys might run into someone that you don't even know sorry this is my camera slanted <laughs> so maybe you guys are going to run into someone that is just you you never thought that you'll meet you'll run into look at this i'm telling you you hear it popping over you guys are about to have love here and it's been a long time coming here with that um with that uh temperance card it's been a while and you've been hurting because of that because you never thought that it would happen. You didn't know if it would happen or with who. You, it's just a lot of things kept running through your your mind. And that could have been another thing with the triggers. 
you know, seeing people coupled up and you didn't have anyone. It's just certain things like that. Here, I do feel like there is compulsive thinking. Someone is watching you. Now, this doesn't have to be someone you even like. I mean, this could be envy. Someone who may have bad intent. You know how to be you know, jealousy, that type of thing. But the devil card, though, it does talk about a very strong bond that you're going to be going into, I do feel. So you guys also could be feeling a little codependent on someone that you have feelings for or that you're looking, look, you know, stalking. <laughs> Could be something like that. Here with the two of swords, this is, you know, um, taking the blinders off, you know, seeing the truth for what this, what it really is for you. And, you know, this is also going into something that's very exciting. But the two of swords does talk about um, denial, okay? Um, a crossroad, maybe you may have more than one person you want to talk to. Um, you know, I feel like tr um, trust is a huge factor for you, Pisces, because you've been hurt so much. But here with the Seven of Swords, I feel like there's so many things, so many people that's going to try to come back in your life. They're going to try to sneak in. People are going to be very strategic with trying to get your affection because you really do have it here on this board. Some of you guys may have been married to this person. This person may want to come in or they may know you from the past. Um, but again, you have so much love. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands. So huge opportunities um, that's about to come towards you. So let's go ahead. Let's get some more for you. We're going to clarify that Six of Cups and see what this is all about, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so this popped over. <laughs> Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I feel like this soulmate connection that you guys are going to go into is going to feel extremely strong. Okay, really, really strong. Um, that's what I feel because that four of wands does talk about commitment. And I feel like you guys are going into a committal type of energy, or this could be talking about your husband. Okay. Um, someone that you guys are dealing with may have had toxic traits. Okay. They may have been doing some stuff they shouldn't have been doing, but now they're like wanting you. You have new love coming in though. That's going to be a problem for them. Let's get this difference. You see here. Justice, someone has had their karma, I tell you that much, and you're going to get yours, you're going to get what you deserve, okay? Man, yeah, I see a lot, oof, I see marriage energy here, whether you were in a marriage or whether you're going in it, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead, let's get the uh, page of swords. Page of Swords. Oh yeah, someone, someone, oof, someone is watching you, Pisces. Good looking, good looking person. Yep, this is per. This is someone that you know. You with the Judgment card. I really do believe that this is more so spousal energy or someone that you either wanted to be with in a long term committed relationship, um, or marriage. It's either one or one or the other. You know, either you wanted to be in a long term commitment or you were. Okay. Um, and that's where you guys could have been heading, but I'm telling you, this person is going to try to come back in. This is a very strong connection, but it, I feel like there was some, there was some toxicity there, but I do believe a lot of you guys are dealing with Capricorns. Let's go ahead and get that Ace of Wands. Oh yeah. Marriage energy again here with the Emperor. This is someone who can give you what you want. Now let's just say, you know, you guys have been waiting for a committed relationship. It's coming. It's coming. And if you guys, again, were in one, your person is your, your, your husband, your wife is going to try to come back in <laughs> here with the lover's card. This is it. And this is why that two of swords is at that bottom of the deck. Cause some of you guys are going to have more than one choice. And then for others, you don't know if you want to go back to your person or not here again, this is what flipped over in the deck. The ace of wands, brand new beginning here. This is exciting here. Communication, traveling, retreat. But again, remember I said that your issue is going to be trust. That's going to be your issue. You guys do have love coming in here. I mean, strong commitment energy and reconciling. Someone's going to surprise you. Yeah. Some, someone, is, someone is hooked on you. Okay? You could be hooked on somebody, but someone is hooked on you. And they want to see you. They want to talk to you here with the Page of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and get this devil card. 
Oh yeah, this person has money too. <laughs> Some of you guys, like I said, is dealing with a Capricorn. They got money and they want to be with you. They want to work it out. It looks like maybe interference happened before. Some of you guys may actually know this person through your job, through your work. Maybe it's a boss who might be trying to, you know, pull something with you. But I do believe that this has something to do with your person who's, you know, you know, they have some money. And this is you trying to be strong, but I do feel like your person has been very stubborn. You're dealing with a very stubborn energy. You've dealt with betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. Let's get one more. Oh, yeah. What was that? Two of Swords. Yeah, see, this has something to do with trusting. You want to know why? Because this was a third-party energy. You guys have been fighting and fussing. You know, you may have felt stuck in this connection. Or, or they may have told you they felt stuck in this connection. And you're not going to be sure what to do. Because, see, if you guys were in a long-term committed relationship, you got everything established with them. But they do want to reconcile. And if this is not a marriage, they're going to want to reconcile. And then for you, you're going to be like, okay, well, they're established and they're sexy. Do I want to be with them or not? That's why the two of swords is there. It's going to be your decision. Okay. But this is what I have for you. Pretty juicy, pretty juicy, Pisces. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.